So I'm gonna move it back. And now I want to add another one. And once again, we are removing all the necessary, unnecessary stuff. I'm gonna call this rare right wheel. And I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna make the car frame invisible both front wheels and the doors and let's see if this is possible to do they are both connected so i believe the way to do this is going to be that we need some kind of surface playing with the surfaces, if that's possible. Rear right wheel, all right. So let's look up the surface for that. I can actually use the surface. We have the surfaces shared as well. So in this case, we don't really have the possibility to individually, I believe the rear wheels are slightly bigger. The thing we can do is that we can actually remove the rear wheels and we can make, for instance, the front wheel visible and I can move that back. Sorry, I have to move the entire. So I'm moving the uh, front wheel back. And as you can see, the, the rear uh, wheel should be slightly larger. So I'm gonna increase the size just a little bit, like 105%. And I'm going to switch to the uh, right view. And I'm simply going to put the wheel into place. Whoops. All right. So we don't have to worry about the, you know, getting things perfect at this stage i'm just showing the principle of making every every part of the car uh, being animated individually so one final thing and that's the left rear wheel so and when that's loaded we're just going to remove the unnecessary stuff again Gonna rename this to left right wheel. And since we can't really use the rear wheels, as we mentioned before, we have to make the rear wheel invisible, make all the doors invisible, and I'm gonna make the right wheel invisible as well. And then we are gonna let me just double check. 105% in size and the car frame should be invisible as well and now we're gonna just simply move the left wheel back and we don't need to get things perfect at this stage once again we have all the all the wheels uh, attached individually and before we move on to some examples I want to create a null object and I'm gonna call that the car simple as that so I'm gonna add all this empowering that to the car and I'm gonna collapse them all and now I have a car which I can move you know freely and all the wheels and the body will follow 
and if I want I can make well, let's take a wheel first front left I can make the wheel you know move up and down and I can also steer it so we have full control of the wheels individually and most importantly we have the body of the car movable as well so I'm going to simply quickly save the scene just in case something happens here so let's pretend we need to add some you know like in our case the car will actually make this kind of almost like this and we need to use the front view and wireframe to see how that moves and we might need to you know realign the body of the car so now we have angled you see we have angled the body of the car and it looks like it's you know doing some skidding uh, or turning and we, we can clearly see the g-force applied to it and while while the wheels still remain on the ground intact and also if you are if you have experience or seen some you know um, uh, really fast acceleration of a car then you don't want you know a car just doesn't stop so, sorry a car just doesn't you know start and you know move forward that's gonna look really really unrealistic and the thing we want to do here is to really put some angle on the body of the car so I can actually show you how that's done in a simple animation just for demonstration purposes we're gonna add let's say 100 frames and at frame 0 we want the um, car to be where it is now and at frame 199 we want the car to move forward all right so now if you play this the car is accelerating okay it's nothing it's not like a rocket or something but I just want to show you how this works so at frame zero we want to really apply the uh, the motion the power that's applied to the rear wheels as the car is accelerating so in that case we need to angle the body slightly up it doesn't need to be too much you know but just two degrees and then we can realign maybe even move it up and then as the car is or actually you know we can apply that kind of body um, angle maybe after 16 frames I'm gonna reset that at frame 0 so that you know as the car is accelerating you do you see this the, the body is moving like it's you know getting some power whoa we're just feeling this power and as the car starts to move forward we need to release that back to zero as well and add a keyframe so what happens now is that our car whoa we really feel it as starting great look at that whoa looks almost natural oh well there's always some tricking to do and the wheels are not spinning and i will do more on that later on 
but now we have the basics why we are attaching each uh, part of the car individually to the uh, node so the node will control the node will control the movement of the car then we have individual movements of the body and each of the wheels all right thank you for watching and see you next time